lord kelvin on the metric system from science volume three may twenty second eighteen ninety six this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org lord kelvin on the metric system the chief objection urged in the recent debates in congress against the adoption of the metric system in the united states was the fact that great britain with whom our commerce is the largest does not use the system it seems however certain that the adoption of the system by both nations is only a matter of time and as the question is now being considered both by the british parliament and our congress it would be highly desirable if an international commission could be arranged so that unity of action could be secured by the two nations the london times whose influence has been said to be as great as that of parliament has recently given much space to discussion of the metric system of the large number of letters addressed to the editor we quote the following from lord kelvin as of special interest in your very interesting leading article on the metric system in the times of yesterday you treat in what seems to me a thoroughly clear and fair manner the question at issue in respect to the demand for legislation on the subject while not ignoring the preference of merchants and manufacturers and scientific men for the metric system you rightly give prominence to consideration for the convenience of the poorer classes who have no great power to make their voices heard at least in such discussions as these if it were true that the adoption of the metric system would be hurtful or even seriously inconvenient to them that would be a strong reason against its being adopted in england but in this respect we have happily a very large experience and i believe it is quite certain that among the germans italians portuguese and other european peoples who have had the practical wisdom to follow the french in the metric system all classes are thoroughly contented with it and find it much more convenient for everyday use than the systems which they abandoned in adopting it you rightly brush aside the duodecimal system as an ingenious mathematical exercise but one whose figures must be read back into a decimal system before they can convey any meaning it seems to me however that you are quite right in maintaining that in ordinary everyday reckonings the shopkeeper and his customers must have halves and quarters but i cannot go so far with you as to say halves quarters and thirds was any poor child ever sent to buy a third of a pound of tea did any thirsty traveller other than a mathematician ever ask for a third of a quart of beer it may be taken as a practical result of natural selection permanent through thousands of years that halves and quarters of the ordinary unit for any class of measurement are natural and convenient in the metric system we find the kilogram half kilogram and quarter kilogram continually used in weighing there is no obligation to always call the half kilogram five hundred grams or the quarter kilogram two hundred fifty grams for smaller quantities the gram is a thoroughly convenient measure for distances travelled we have the kilometre half kilometre and quarter kilometre for measuring cloths ribbons and tapes in retail shops we have the meter and centimeter which are thoroughly convenient and popular for all ordinary use the centimeter about four tenths of an inch is a thoroughly convenient smallest unit for most practical purposes and for finer measurements the workman under the metric system has a great advantage in the millimeter and half or quarter millimeter over the british workman with his troublesome and fatiguing eighths sixteenths thirty seconds and sixty fourths of an inch the great advantage of the metric system is its uniform simplicity all measurements of length area volume and weight being founded primarily on the kilometer 
the kilometer is very convenient for measuring great distances on the earth's surface because a journey a quarter round the world is nearly enough ten thousand kilometers for almost all practical purposes if our travelling was habitually not on the earth's surface but along diameters through the centre there would be some practical value in the merit discovered for the british inch by sir john herschel that it is approximately one one hundredth millionth of a diameter of the earth the thousandth of the french ton is the kilogram and the cubic decimeter or the thousandth of the cubic meter is the litre which is the common popular unit for liquid measure so that any one who has correct weights can verify for himself his litres or other measurements for liquids this particular merit of the metric system which as far as i know has not been much if at all noticed by your correspondents is of very great importance in mechanics and engineering in virtue of it the weight of any quantity of material is found in tons or in kilograms or in grams simply by multiplying its volume in cubic meters or in cubic decimeters or in cubic centimeters by its specific gravity and thus a very great deal of labor which is entailed upon mechanical engineers civil engineers and surveyors in england under the present system will be done away with when the metric system comes into use but now considering the wants and the convenience of the whole population think of the vast contrast between the practically valuable simplicity of the metric system and the truly monstrous complexity of british measurements in miles furlongs chains poles yards feet inches square miles acres square yards square feet square inches cubic yards gallons quarts pints gills tons hundredweights quarters stones pounds avoir du poids seven thousand grains ounces avoir du poids four hundred thirty seven point five grains drams avoir du poids twenty seven point three four three seven five grains pounds troy five thousand seven hundred sixty grains ounces troy four hundred eighty grains drams apothecaries sixty grains etc looking at the question from all sides and considering all the circumstances i believe it will be found that the thorough introduction of the metric system for general use in great britain will be beneficial to all classes and that the benefit will in the course of a few weeks be found to more than compensate any trouble involved in making the change end of lord kelvin on the metric system from Science, Volume 3, May 22, 1896. Read by Avaii in April 2014.